Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is um, Karoo Fiber Arts, and I am going to review some of the Hobby, Do Hobby Lobby yarns that are either clearancing out um, and will not be returning, or they're just getting rid of those colors. Um, but I wanted to go through the ones that I have washed and dried and just kind of went with. Um, that looks beautiful, sweetie. Um, my daughter is sitting right beside me, so she is playing with some of my watches. She likes to play with them, pretend like they are, um, anyways, like doll dresses. So anyway, so she's playing with them right now. All right. So these are the items that I'm going to review. I've got cotton and linen, hint of silk and stitch 101, 50, 50. And then I've got a effortless, super bulky. That's also on clearance. And then the faux fur, which is, um, snuggle up and it's, um, one that I've been wanting to try to see if it would work and how it would look after it was washed. And then I also have a must be Merino in the olive color. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to move all the ones out of the way and we're going to look at the swatches and I'm going to talk about how they work and how they knit up and what I like or don't like about that product. Okay. And then I also have one that I'm going to review and I forgot to put it over here. So I'm going to pause the video for a second and grab it. I also threw in the washer, the Rustic Romantic. So if you picked up any of these um, yarns during the Hobby Lobby clearance sale, um, or if you were interested in them and you weren't quite sure if you would use them, I'm going to go through and talk to you about how I felt and um, which one I would kind of recommend for either knitting or crocheting. Okay. All right. Like I said, the first one, let me, let me go through my like cotton linen um, silk blends first so that you can get an idea of what, you know, what you might like. All right. So I'm going to talk about the cotton and linen. There was actually only one of these left at my Hobby Lobby. So I went ahead and just grabbed it because I wanted to try it. And it looks very similar to the Stitch 101, but they're actually quite different the way they work up and the way they felt as I kind of went through it. So I did crochet this nice little like granny square um, or started it just so I could throw it in the washer to see what happens with the, with the yarn. Um, I am going to say like the linen, if you are not familiar with knitting or crocheting with linen, it can be a little bit rough on your hands because it is so, um, I guess, so it, it's hard to, it's hard to describe. It's not very flexible. It's almost like knitting with twine, but it, but because it has that cotton in it, it's actually a lot softer. But if you've, if you've knitted or crocheted with just linen, it is a very stiff, fiber, like very, very stiff. Um, it's like, like I said, it's almost like twine that you're working with. Um, but after you wash it, it does soften up for me personally, for me personally, I don't really like knitting with linen. It's just not nice on my hands and I just prefer a different type of fiber. So, um, but that's just me. So I'm just telling you how I feel. So, um, I do like the fact that it is us fibers, but if you look, it does say, um, it does say some information on where it was. Um, let me see. Yeah, it was made in Turkey. So it's not completely us made, but it's just made with us fibers grown or made with fibers grown in the U S. So I don't, I don't know what that means. I guess, um, but they do have this nice little symbol. It makes you feel good about yourself, I guess, when you look at it. Cause like, oh, it's USA. Um, anyway, so um, on the back right here, here's all the information about the cotton and linen. It's 80% cotton, 20% linen, um, and it does have 180 yards. And it's a US size eight. Like I said in my previous videos, I like knitting with the size eight. I just feel more comfortable working it up and judging like what, how much I need to cast on. I'm just, I don't know. I just like that one. I've, I've, I've got the gauge set for myself and I just, I just like the size eight whenever it says that I kind of grab that yarn. Um, and then for crochet hook, there's the information there, size nine for us. And you've got your other information along there. This was a dollar 24. And if you did grab all the cotton and linen, um, you know, good for you. Hopefully you'll work something up. I can see this working up as maybe like a dish rag or something in the, in the kitchen where it's going to be pretty durable because linen's pretty durable. And then you throw that cotton in there and it, um, it kind of soaks up that moisture. It's good for like kitchen type products 
And um, if you're not familiar with cotton, cotton does absorb water and it is kind of hard for it to dry. I know I threw this in the dryer with other like garments and stuff and it's still, I can still feel that it's a little bit wet. So um, it didn't dry all the way. And unfortunately that's how cotton is. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer to dry. So, um, and the information, like I said, I just, whenever I'm washing my swatches, it does have the information right here about your washing instructions. So you can look over that for just a second. I'm going to pause for a second. Okay. So this is your information. And like I said, it's cotton and linen. So most of the time the instruction is, is that you can wash and dry. However, you normally do your cotton and linen, throw it in with the washer. So it did turn out okay. Um, I'm just not, I'm not super thrilled with ever, like with, I'm not, I'm not a linen type person. Like I just don't like linen. I guess that's what it is. I do like some cottons. This is a little bit, it's a little rough I, I, to, to the touch. I just don't like the way that it feels. And I'm pretty sure it's because of the linen. So I would not, I wouldn't recommend this product this, this brand. I'm sure that there's some of y'all out there. They're like, you are crazy. This is great for like this or that bag, handbags maybe, but I just don't like, I just don't feel like I would start something and finish it unless it was like a goal in mind. Like I was making a bag or making some dish towels for someone that requested it. It's not something that I personally would want to knit with because of the way it feels. It's just a little bit rough to my, to the hand, to my, to like the touch. And it wasn't really fun to like crochet up when I was crocheting. It, it kind of like, I guess maybe if I had some different crochet hooks, I use my prim ones and they are like, I don't know. They, it, sometimes they don't glide as nicely as some of some different hooks. And sometimes I also use these, um, I think it's birch wood or something like that, crochet hooks, which I really like to use every once in a while. But I, I just didn't feel like it, they, that this product, like that this yarn um, glided as nicely. Okay. So it was okay. I wouldn't recommend it to myself. I wouldn't use it. But I would recommend it to those of you that like to make the kitchen stuff. Yeah. That's great. My daughter's showing me pictures. All right, next. Um, this this one was called the Stitch 101, and it's a 50-50. And um, there's a color right there. Um, so let's look at the information on the back. I'm going to kind of zoom in for you. I don't know what these fibers are, Model. I don't know what that is. And I don't even know if I'm saying it right. I'm going to have to look that up to see exactly what those fibers are. Um, and acetate. I don't know. I'm not sure what these are. <clears throat> Maybe you can comment in the chat and tell me, but I'm not really real concerned about looking into it because at least for right now. All right. So this one, the yardage is 180. And again, there's that size eight that I always like to look for. I like, I like that size, especially when I'm making like, um, I don't know, like dish rags or something like that. I just like using that size. Again, it's size nine. So these are very, the last two are very similar in the like the the knitting size sizes and, and the crochet hooks that you would use but you can see i really don't know what this product is like i don't know what what these things are so maybe they're maybe they are anyways i i don't know maybe they're not but i want to i wanted to show you this because i want to compare these two swatches that i made like they were the same size and then when I washed them, the Stitch 101 shrunk like a lot compared to the linen one. And I, it may be because the linen and the cotton stretched out because that, that tends to happen. But this, it makes me almost think of rayon um, because of how soft it is. So maybe those products are related to rayon. Um, cause this stitch 101 50, 50 is, it feels so soft and it was really, it was actually really fun to knit with or crochet with. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to buy it again. Like there are more of these and I just don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it again. It feels really nice. I just don't, I don't know. I don't know if I would make anything with it. And the fact that it shrunk so much when I put it in the washer and the dryer, it would, it would make me a little bit concerned about what I was going to make with it and what was going to happen with my product. Okay. So the last, the two that I just showed you, I don't know if I would buy again. Um, but the, if I were to, I would get the stitch 101 just because of how soft it is. Um, and it was fun to knit with or crochet with. All right, the next one that I'm going to talk about is one that I see online all the time with the other yarn hauls from this year. 
um, and it is the Hint of Silk. And I just picked up one of them to try because I've never worked with silk before. But this one, this is like what I would picture silk to be and feel like. I've gotten one, and you can look at my yarn haul from um, Webs. I got one product that was had silk in it too, and I just didn't really like the way it felt. This one, though, is what I would expect to feel when I felt it if I were to hear the word silk, like it's just so shiny and it's really soft. It has bamboo in it. And if I remember correctly, if, if it says bamboo, I think that is a product of rayon. Like I'm pretty sure it is. Um, I might be wrong though, but this is the information on it. Once again, the same measurements as the previous two yarns. And I'm going to show you in a minute, all of them kind of side by side, because they would be the same. They honestly should be the same size depending on you know, based on the fact that I use the same hook size and all of that. So this is 130 yards, which is a little bit, I think it's a little different because I think the Stitch 101, you get more yardage is 180. And they had all different colors of these on sale. And the same for the cotton and linen, it was 180. So you get less with the hint of silk, but I feel like because of the silk, you just get less because it's um, probably a more expensive product more expensive, expensive fiber. All right. So how did it, how did it last? Well, first of all, I love crocheting with this. It was, it was so soft, just like everybody else was saying in their yarn hauls, $1.49. You really can't beat that down from $5.99. And then if you take the 30% off, I know it's still a great deal. So this is what happened. And and I think because of the rayon in it. So there's the, pro, there's it after it went through the washer and dryer. And like I said, I always just throw them in to, I just throw them in with everything. So here's, here's what happened. So it should be similar to, so this is my cotton and linen one. And like I said, the cotton and linen, it's going to end up stretching out a little bit. This is the stitch 101, 101. And then this is my hint of silk. I guess I should have gotten different colors because these are super similar in the in colors. So this is what happened. It is not stretchy at all. And I, I don't expect it to. It definitely shrunk and it's very like almost rigid. And it's still, I'm going to tell you right now, it's still a little wet because um, the dryer, I don't know, it just didn't dry as quickly as the other items that I threw in there. So, and I think it's because it got wrapped up with some of the other garments in the dryer. But this, um, this definitely shrunk in size, I think. It's not as soft and, um, I don't know, I, I probably wouldn't buy this hint of silk unless I had an idea for a project. And I'm not sure if I'd want to wear this. Like it's, it has gotten very rigid after washing it. So I would definitely, if you do make something with this, hand wash it and lay, lay it out to dry. And I'm sure that's probably, I don't know. It says wash on cold. So it says you can wash it. I think that's what that means. Um, you guys can correct me in the chat if I'm wrong, but I feel like the circle with the box around it means you can throw it in the washer. Um, and I've got my cheat sheet here, but it doesn't show one without a dot. Like the, the cheat that I've got has a dot in the center. So I don't know what this one means. Maybe it, maybe it means that it has to be like super cold. All right. But anyways, so this, this, I would not, I, the three that I just showed you, I only got one skein of each. I go home and I wash it. I decide whether I'm going to go back and get more. I'm not going to get any more of the hint of silk because it, I, I just, it will end up in the washer and dryer in our house. It will. And then it'll end up shrinking or not, not even just shrinking, but I don't know. If I were to pick out one out of the three, I would say that the Stitch 101 is probably the best because it is, it is not as rigid and it's still very soft. I could make like a, I don't know, some kind of cardigan with it. Um, like a grainy square blanket would be nice and soft. The hint of silk just seems very, like you can see it's very rigid. And it might be just because it's still a little bit damp. But either way, um, after it dries fully, maybe I'll come back and say something different. <laughs> All right, so let's keep moving on. All right, and I'm, I'm taking too much time with this hint of silk. All right, but um, I, I saw that a lot of you had them when, whenever you did your yarn hauls. So I wanted to like quickly wash it to see if I wanted to get it. All right. So rustic romantic. Remember I got all of these. There was only three. It was acrylic and hemp. And I was really excited about trying this out and I wanted to make sure I got enough to make something. So three would probably make 
some kind of a um, shawl, something real pretty. It's very, very soft for it having hemp in it. And this was the swatch that I did in my tutorial with the bobble stitches, the seed stitch, the um, ribbing down at the bottom. So I went through a tutorial on for each of these types of stitches for knitting. When I threw it through the washer, it still feels really soft. Um, I handed it to my daughter and I was like, how do you feel about this? And she was like, I don't like it anymore. She liked it before, but it really doesn't feel any different. It's the same feeling, the same size. It really didn't change in size. So I kind of liked, I liked the fact that, I don't know, that it didn't change in size. And I also like the fact that it is like rolling. I don't know why. Sometimes I don't like the rib stitch on the ends. I like the fact that items might, you know, garments might roll a little bit, even on the sleeves. Um... But anyways, I, I really like this. I wish they had more colors available um, or at least available on clearance. They did not, I, I have a feeling that they're going to bring this back because it does sell. Um, I was talking to one of the ladies at Hobby Lobby and she said that if it is on clearance this year and they're clearancing all of it, like all the colors, that means they're getting rid of it. So if you like it, she said, get it. So I think that for the Rustic Romantic, because there's so many colors that are not on clearance, I have a feeling that they're just clearancing out this color, which is blush. Yeah. Which I like the blush color. I think I've talked about that. I get really excited about blush. Anyways, so I would recommend that one. I do like the Rustic Romantic, and I will probably use that one um, pretty soon. All right, the next one I want to talk about is that Faux Fur, and it's Snuggle Up. I only got one skein of this, I think... Um, I just, I really like this type of yarn just for like different products, different like items that I want to make, but it is not for crochet. I'm going to make sure that you all know for me, when I tried to crochet it, I couldn't find the stitches and I'm sorry, my kids are in the background. I could not find where, what I was doing because it was so fuzzy. So I do, I feel like these types of yarns like this are more of a knitting yarn. And I may be wrong, but I just feel like I couldn't find it. It was like hidden, but this was after I washed it. It remained the same. I mean, I would totally, I would totally go back and buy maybe one or two more colors just so I can have some to make maybe even some balls on top of hats, but it's hundred percent polyester. It does say no, don't, don't do it. It's probably because of the heat aspect of it. It might melt, but I threw it in there anyways. You know, I'm going to, it stayed the same. It's not falling apart. Maybe even, it might even be cute to make it into like, like maybe even do something. You could try to crochet it around a rubber band and maybe make it into like a, that might be kind of cute for the, for the winter. I don't know. Make it into like a scrunchy sort of thing. I don't know. It was 99 cents, $3 and 99 cents marked down to 99. So I couldn't say no, a dollar. We'll end up using it for something. Even if I only have one skein, you can use it for a bunch of different products. So this I would recommend, but don't get a bunch because you don't need a bunch unless you're creating something, which I'm not sure. I guess if you get good at it, maybe you can crochet with it and make little animals. But when I tried to do it, it was extremely hard for me to see where my stitches were to continue on. It was really hard and it was frustrating. So I feel like I would start it and I, and you may be better than me. But I would give up. I would, I would I would, end up giving up. I would be like, no, this is too frustrating. I don't like it anymore. Okay, I'm going to try to hurry up. Because the next one um, I'm going to look at is one that I have not seen on any yarn hauls. So I wonder if it's just in my store. Which makes me think I should go back and get them. Because I do like them. These are called the Effortless Super Bulky. And this is Dusty Coral. Now, I love the yarns that have like a bit of a, like, I don't know. It has mo not mohair. It has a pa alpaca in it. I like the ones that have alpaca in it, but it's 80% acrylic, 20% alpaca. It's a size 15. Okay. These are great for making hats. Okay. I'm going to say that like big chunky winter hats. So this is what I did. I crocheted a little swatch. I threw it in the washer and it's, I feel like they are, uh, it's like that Woolies thick and quick, but it's actually, I feel like it's prettier than that. Because it has like a marbled kind of look. It has some dark, dark reddish. It, it looks like it's got some dark pink and light pink blush kind of colors in it. It's really pretty. I'm going to have to go back and get more of this. Because I really liked it. And I figured I would, but I wanted to make sure I washed it first. $7.99. Now it's $1.99. So if you guys have this in your store, 
um, message if you got it, because I haven't seen this on any yarn hauls yet, but it is on sale. And it does wash really well. It does not felt, just FYI, it does not felt. And it dries super quick. I don't know if you're familiar with wool yarns, but um, they don't really soak up moisture as much as that cotton does. So what happens with cotton, it just soaks up that water. That's why cotton's a lot, used a lot for like kitchen cleaning um, items, like scrubbies or or, you know, with dishcloths, because they do soak up that moisture. They're, they're good cleaning garment, like good cleaning fiber. Wool is more of like, okay, you, I, it doesn't get wet. It doesn't soak up moisture as much as that cotton. And it, that's why it's used a lot for like winter garments, because um, in, in South Carolina, it does not snow a lot. But um, it does every once in a while. And I did notice like that wool hats are the best when you are like having a snowball fight or whatever because they don't get as wet and they don't get as heavy after you're done but because it does have the acrylic in it I it probably will do more you know it soak up more moisture than the 100% um, alpaca or wool anyways I like this I'm going back to get more I know I will because I do like this all right, the next one and the last one I want to review is the Must Be Merino Olive. And as soon as I washed this up, I was so thrilled, okay? Because I did I did knit up a purple like sweater this year, but I only I hand washed it. I was very gentle with it. It is mine, my sweater, so I I'm really taking good care of it. But now that I've done a swatch with this, must be Merino, and like this was the olive, and there's the yards. I'm going to let it focus for some reason. Okay, it's 227 yards. Wow. Like, that's a lot. Um, but if you like scoot on the back, you've got your Merino wool, 20% acrylic. There's your nylon, 25% nylon, size 7, and G to 6 for your size for your crochet hook. And then it tells you like, don't you dare, you better hand wash this. But I'm gonna say if it ends up in the washer by accident, it it's still as pretty as it was when I first crocheted this up. So I am I am so thrilled because like I said, I, I knitted a sweater and you can go back and look at my very first um, video on you know what's on my, I think it was my very first video I posted on YouTube, but it's a purple sweater with like the yoke has like leaves on it. It's really, really pretty. It was fun to knit and it was must be Merino is what I had. And I have been so gentle with that item because it took me, it didn't take me a long time to make it. It's just, I like it and I like the way it feels. So if I was worried if it made it into the washer and the dryer by accident, that it would be ruined. But after running this through the washer and the dryer, like it, it, it still feels soft. Now it may have shrunk just a little bit, maybe, but really I feel like it's almost exactly the same size of when I um, crocheted it up. So I would absolutely, if you see Musbury Merino, you need to buy it up. I love this stuff. And I'm a, like, I gravitate towards wool, but I do try to find that wool that is easy to care for. So I can pass it on to friends and family or sell it in a craft show. Um, so anyways, this is the information again on it. I love must be Reno. I went back and got the rest of them from our store and really they weren't bought up. So I'm, I'm wondering if you guys know about this product. So, all right. So here's the lowdown. I would definitely go back and get your must be Merino if you are a wool like fibers person. Okay. Yes. I would definitely get this and I effortless, super bulky. I'm going to go back and actually get more of those. I really, really like them and I know I'm going to use them up. Um, and I'm not sure if I called out the yardage on that, but it's 111 yards, which really isn't a lot, but they will make, I mean, it will at least make you a nice hat or two, depending on how big the head that you're knitting for. So I would definitely get these two and I would absolutely love to see more Rustic Romantic. I would probably get maybe, I wouldn't get any more. I think three is enough for this one, but I did like this one. But um, the three that I first showed you, I'm not going to go back and get any more of those. But I'm going to be happy with what I've got. I'll find something to do with them. But I, I just didn't really like those that much. Um, and I would, if you are a crocheter and you're not really like, ready to do like this kind of 
<laughs> use this kind of product. I would hold off on getting it or maybe just get one so you can try it. I am only going to, this is it. This is all I'm going to get. Even though all of it's on sale, it is 99 cents. Maybe just grab one so you can do some winter hats with those little fun little um, balls on the top. But that would be it. That's what I would use it for. That's what it's going to be used for. But knitting, not crocheting for me. Okay. All right. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe to my channel. Feel, if you feel the need to comment, please comment. I love some comments. Um, and let me know. Maybe I, maybe I said something wrong. <laughs> maybe you want to add something to my channel or maybe you want to, um, you know, just share what you found. Like, oh, I got this and I crocheted with it and I did fine with it. This is what I did. And I love that kind of feedback. So again, thank you for joining my channel. This is Karoo Fiber Arts. And also check out my Etsy. I'm gonna be adding some free patterns pretty soon on my website. So um, please like and subscribe, ring that bell so you can see the updates on my like tutorial videos. All right, before you go though, I am working on creating a onesie tutorial. So this is the onesie that I'm working on right now. I just started started with the um, Tweed Indeed is what I started with. So I'll be putting the tutorial up pretty soon once I finish it. And um, you'll be able to make a little onesie for a sweet little baby. Um, this one will be going to my cousin, I believe. She just had a baby boy. Um, and I'll, I think I'm going to do like a little ducky on the front. But this is the back part of the onesie. And um, anyways, I thought I would share that with you. All right. Have a wonderful day and keep on um, crafting.